Hey guys, Cindy out here with my Artsy Endeavors. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. Um, I don't do a lot of happy mail videos, but I, I just had to show you a few things that some uh, couple girls had sent to me. This first one came from my dear friend Peg Robinson, and when I opened this, I was just really, really um, surprised. Look at this beautiful boho tag. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? It's got just so many layers in the background and so much detail and this awesome fringe on the bottom. So fun. Just so much fun. But I wanted to show you guys this and um, show you the other goodies that she had sent to me. This is really cool. This is actually um, a bookmark and that's what I'm going to use it for. And it's made out of Shannon Green's vinyl. And these are some of the scraps that Shannon Green has. So check out her um, Etsy shop. It's by Shannon Green. B-Y Shannon Green. And this is really cool. So I'm going to use that as a bookmark. It's so cute. Here's a little ATC. Actually, there's a couple of them here. Look at these. Aren't these adorable? Journey Beyond with a little seahorse on it and a star. Love it. And fun. Look at this. How cool is that? And this, again, is made out of Shannon's ATC, um, Shannon's vinyl ATCs. So I can't wait to get these put in my book as soon as um, I can find it again because my studio's tore apart right now, but, you know, we'll get there. Um, I want to put these in my book. So thank you so much, Peg. Look at this. Oh, that's a really cool background. And that's just a scrap background, which is awesome. So I will be using that in my art. Thank you. Oh, look at this. Oh, how cool is that? Look at that. Oh, it's like a plastic. It's almost like a plastic that um, she has embossed. Can you see the embossing on that? There you go. She's run it through an embossing folder, and then she did alcohol links on the front. How cool is that? I can't wait to use that in my art. That's awesome. Oh, and look at this. A little plaque. This is done on wood. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, Peg, thank you so much, my dear. You didn't have to do this, but I really, truly appreciate it. These are absolutely beautiful. I can't wait. I'm going to put that in my book. As a matter of fact, my book's right here. And I won't show you what I'm reading because it's probably not, um, well, it's just buried alive. I have this old, there you go. Perfect. I have a new bookmark. Thank you, Peg. <laughs> and this, I can't wait. Once I get back into my art room, that is definitely going to be hung up on my wall. I absolutely love it. So Peg Robinson, thank you very, very much, my dear. I'm going to put it in here to keep them safe until I get back in my art room. Now, the other thing that I got was this. I received this envelope in the mail, a big manila envelope. And inside was this beautiful card, and it says, You are amazing, many thanks. And this is from a friend of mine named Kim. And she says, You give me strength when I need it most. Cindy, I am so thankful to have met you. The wonders of today's social media has helped me find someone as caring and understanding as you. You have made such a difference to me in my life of chronic pain and in my exploration of art. Love, Kim. Just a couple of books I found on clearance and some odds and ends I thought you might be able to add to your stash. If you already have the books, feel free to pass them on to another deserving artist. This, this was just a total surprise. Kim, thank you so very much. Just the card itself was amazing. Let me show you, first of all, the books that she sent to me. As you guys know, No Excuses Art Journaling. This is one of the books that I absolutely love. I do have this book. So what I'm going to do, there's a sticker on it. I was working on it earlier and taking some of the sticker off. Um, what I'm going to do, since I do have this book, is I'm going to do some type of a giveaway. So look for that coming up on my YouTube channel. And basically what this is, is there are several different, 12 different artists in here that each month they will give you, um, like say for June, is Serena Barton. She's the guest artist. It talks a little bit about her, what does she do, when does she journal, what kind of calendar, what medium does she like working with, what does she like best about the no excuses methods, her website, her blog. So each month um, a new artist will give you an idea or give you... Um, you know, snapshots into their art journals 
and show you what they do, how they do it, and maybe get, give you some ideas out of it. I know I have opened this book many, many times, and I've seen different things in here that just inspire me. You know, I may just look at this and say, oh, I love this, and I may decide to make an art journal page just out of the four columns, something of that nature. Or I may decide in my personal journal that I want to write on a page in different columns. I mean, you can draw inspiration from everywhere, and this is one of the books that is amazing to do it in. So definitely, um, I will be putting up like I said, I'll be doing a video once I get back into my art room. Um, I'll be doing a video for a giveaway for this, so look for that to come. This, this book, uh, Kim, I have to tell you, when I saw this, I was like, oh, because I don't do a lot with colored pencils, and I, I have a bunch of them. And I keep thinking, you know, how am I going to use them in my mixed media? I've seen some people use them, and I'm like, oh, I like that idea. And then, of course, it, the idea is gone, and I'm like, oh, I don't remember how to do it. So, this book really, really, really intrigues me. It's called Coloring Pencil Collage by Kelly Hornig. And what it is, she talks about, let me just get back to the front here. I'm not going to go through the whole book. I'm not going to do a review on it. Um, but she talks about the materials, the colored pencils, designs, textures and tools, surfaces, paper surfaces, and embellishments. And what she does is she talks about how to um, get, how to use colored pencils in your art, in your art journaling. Um, she talks about the different strokes of the colored pencils. She talks about the different colors that you can put together, the blending, um, using them on stencils, all kinds of things. So I am really, really, really excited to sit down and start working in this book and seeing what I can come up with and how I can incorporate um, incorporate, I should say, my colored pencils into my mixed media. So Kim, this one is fantastic. Thank you so very much. I definitely will get use out of that. Now, here are the bag of goodies that she mentioned. And what I did, I'm going to turn that over. This is just her address, so I kept that. And, guys, I've seen this stuff because I already did a video on this once, and then I lost all my footage, so I'm just going to go through it again. This is really, really cool. It's notebook paper that I definitely will be using probably, I don't know, it might be in my art journals, it might be in my personal journals. It says live, love, and laugh. Yep. Uh, dance as if no one is watching. Live for today. Dream big. Don't count the days, make the days count. And laugh out loud. Aren't they cool? So those are awesome. I'll definitely be using these. These really have me intrigued. Um, actually, I have another couple things. These two things came with this as well as this. Um, these things really intrigue me. I'm not exactly sure what they are supposed to be. Aren't they cool? Or how they are supposed to be used. But I can tell you, I'm going to be using them for all kinds of things. I'm going to be using them for um, edging. I'm going to be using them for grass. Um, I just, I have some different ideas on how to use them. <laughs> I'm sitting here thinking as I'm doing it. But I'm not sure. Kim, give me an idea. Tell me what these are, hon. Because I love them. They're really cool. And you gave me a bunch of them, so I'm going to use them. I just want to know what the original intended purpose was for them. This is really, really cool. This is all sticky ribbon. And all you do is peel it up, and you can stick it down on your projects. Now, one of the things I like about this is, A, it's already sticky. B, you can just take a little piece of this and put a really cool piece of bling, either, pardon me, on an ATC, on a card, um, in your art as a border. These are phenomenal. So thank you so much. Um, these three things I actually had laying here on my desk because I had an idea for them. I received in this package as well. This one says, reality has limits. Imagination is boundless. And that is so true. So very true. Um, and then these really, really cool washi tapes. This one's a glitter tape. Look at that. And they're in my two favorite colors, teal and purple. Isn't that awesome? 
So thank you very much. Like I said, I had them up there. This is so cool. Look at this piece of fabric. How about that? Isn't this amazing? Oh, I can't wait. I want to make, I don't know what I want to make. I was thought about making either an art journal cover or maybe um, sending it to a dear friend of mine and having her make me a little pen pouch. I'm not sure yet, but I love, love, love the colors. It's just absolutely beautiful. So thank you so much. This is awesome. Look at this. This is a piece of wallpaper. It's a wallpaper border. And what I love about it is, first of all, the colors. I think these colors are really cool. It's got the gold in it, but I love the designs. And you know, this is actually, it actually almost feels not really textured, but it feels not as smooth as some wallpapers do. So I was thinking about this, and this would be a really great background just to start a background. Look at this. How cool would that be on a background on a page? Um, it would also be wonderful as a piece on the front of a card, just a greeting card to say hello. Um, these would be fantastic on ATCs. I mean, it's so versatile and awesome. Thank you so much. I absolutely love it. This really intrigued me. This was really cool. This is a textured, it's almost like craft paper, yet it's not. It's really cool. I'm not really sure. It's, it's, I don't know. I'm not really sure. Where did you find this, Kim? It's awesome. There's a bunch of pages here, too. But look at that. How cool is that? That would be so cool done with like a metallic on it and then put on ATCs or in pages or even scraps of it. I think it's really, really neat. I love it. So thank you. I can't wait to use that also. This was really cool. This is, um, it's just a small pamphlet or book, I should say. And it's about Paraguay and Ur Uruguay. Uruguay. I can never say that. There it is. <laughs> you guys can say it. Um, and it's just a little book. And what I love about it is what a phenomenal, what you, can you guys guess? Can you guys guess? A grab and glue. It's going to be a grab and glue. And it's just really, really neat. I love the paper. Um, and look at this. On the inside, these are all stickers. Look at this. See? They have the sticky background to them. These are all older just stickers. Paraguayan Indian, the legislative palace, thatching, roofing, weaving. But look at this. How neat is this? Herding sheep. Taking sheep to the market. I mean, just awesome. These are awesome little pages of Field of Sunflowers, Outdoor Barbecue. And they're all stickers. Won't they be awesome in a grab and glue? I think they'll be phenomenal. So this is a really, really neat book, and I can't wait to start working in that. So thank you very much. Then I have two more pieces of border, which I think is awesome. Here's one. And this one is textured. I don't know if you guys can hear that. It's got a texture to it, and it is so cool. That would make an awesome um, book cover as well. Um, as well as an ATC background, all kinds of stuff with this. So this is phenomenal. And look at this one. Let's see if I can find the other end of it here. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? Wouldn't that make an awesome journal cover? Just this part of it. You know, and then I could always cut out the other balloons or how cool is that? So yeah, this, Kim, what a wonderful, wonderful surprise. I can't say thank you enough. I definitely will be using all these goodies in my art. Um, I'm so glad I'm here for you. I'm so glad I can help you through the journey of chronic pain. Um, it's not an easy one, but if there's anything that you need, anytime you want to chat, just, you know, shoot me a message and uh, we can talk, all right? So I wanted to share with you guys this wonderful happy mail. Like I said, I don't do it a lot. Um, maybe I should more, but I don't. But I just wanted to say thank you to these kind ladies, and I really, really appreciate it. All right, you guys have a wonderful day. Um, don't forget to have fun. That's what life's all about. 
Happy creating. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.